Moshe. Let's finish the story about the little bear Bernie. Bernie had crossed with the airplane a far distance over the wide meadows of the White North Pole through the passage of Danish polar boreal. Greenland was shining under the cold polar summer sun, and pieces of ice were prized away, and they were floating over the surface of Greenland Sea. Bernie hugged his brown fur coat stronger as a still gust of icy wind blew by, and he felt the chill on his bones. He raised his little brown paw to prevent the snowy dust from entering his eyes. He was persisting in his plan to get to know a big polar bear. Suddenly, from behind the snowy dam, appeared a little fox in front of him in her soft brown coat. Why are you lost, Teddy Bear? Asked she had him to question. No, I just got back on the right track, he replied, admiring to her to her fur whose edges were dotted with dense white hair. Are you a polar fox? he asked suspicious, suspiciously. You're funny, Teddy Bear. I changed my color of fur because summer is coming, she replied wisely. If this is the summer, why does it look like we're in the middle of a cold winter? Bruni was a bit disappointed by this quote, but still adventurous. Where are the polar bears? Are they in hibernation? Bruni wanted to know. I think they went hunting. I saw an awesome half an hour ago in the waters of the Wendell Sea. We can find it together if you like. Bruno was glad to have someone to talk to, and the, first, and the fox Frida was a, was a really good teacher. She told him about the snowboard and tundra of the polar circle. The thick layer of ice was aged with more than 5,000 years, and on places the ice is thicker than 1,500 feet. Bruno saw how Nelson's enormous paw was pounding on the crack in the ice. Head bent toward the hole from which at any moment could dive out of his head. Nelson suddenly saw uninvited guests in the hunting area, and then he lifted his black nose, which had crystals of snow. He smelled a little brown Bruni and grumbled with greeting with a with greeting with a greeting voice. Bruni. Bruni stopped in front of Nelson, and he looked straight into, his, into the black, piercing eyes of one experienced hunter and warrior. Not, not one step further, Frida. This, place of, this piece of ice could be separated, and it would be a shame to lose such a good teacher as you are, said Nelson. Do not worry, as your person is good as you. You have a guess. This is young. This is a young bear Bernie from the European forest zone, she said cheerfully. Frida liked Bernie because he was the best student she has ever had. Bernie was half frozen, but he rose up his paws from feebly waving greeting. He felt a little thunder of freshness and hunger. He knelt, he kneeled on the slippery white ice and slipped to the sealed gap. Hey kid, at the last moment, Nelson picked up the bear and smiled when he felt for himself fur in his paws. 